Championship of Class 2 Bowling. Taylor, uh, let's talk about in the qualifying session, uh, you had a bad uh, couple of games, two and three, and you were on the border between being second and third, but then your team picked it up and finished first in qualifying after that uh, fourth game, and you bowled seven straight strikes to lead that game off. Just talk about what was going through your head at that time. Well, I knew that I had to keep my team up and help them out. And game and had a pretty bad game and I knew that we just wanted to win and it's all about team so I brought it strong by so how do you feel that that fourth qualifying game kind of spread over you ended up beating pedal three straight games on the Baker series um it it was good it made me feel good because um I won pop star by 310 and I just Ten, wanted to hold them up and double state championship. Right, so how does it feel to win two in a row now for the Lady Wave? It feels great. It's awesome. You think you can do it again next year? I sure hope so. I'm going for six. Going for six like the boys. Yes. Awesome. Well, good deal. Well, Taylor, congratulations on the uh, state championship. Hope to see you back here next year. Here with Tupelo coach Susan Dudley. Coach, uh, six straight boys title, second straight girls. How does it feel huh, for all that? Awesome. It just feels awesome. I, we're on top of the world. And, uh, you know, I know you were over here with the boys most of the time, but the girls, they uh, kind of went through a, I guess, a, I don't know what you want to call it, a bad stretch in the second and third games of qualifying, but they came back and Taylor led them with seven straight strikes. And to just talk about her capacity to bowl. She seemed like she finished off with great composure. She is an awesome bowler, especially to be an eighth grader. She's mm -hmm. got good things ahead of her. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have a team without her, I don't think, that would compete nearly as well as we compete now. She's a fantastic addition to the team. So let's go over to the boys' side. Uh, a 3-1 win in the Baker Series. Uh, and going to the qualifying, it was just domination. Rolled over 4,000, which if I heard right, that's over 250 for an average. Yes, that is. I think that's the best we've ever done as a, a five-team, yeah, five-man team. Yeah, two, five 200 team. a man. Yeah. Average is 200 a man for a five-man team. That's, I'd say that's definitely a really great accomplishment just in itself yes. to do that. But of course, the sweet part, winning over pedal 3-1 to one in the Baker Championship. Just talk about that. The first two games seemed to be a, a little easier on the side, but then the third game, St. Pedal kind of picked up their pace. They, they did, but um, we kept pace with them, just not mm -hmm. good enough. And we knew going into the end of that third game, we were going to have to bottle fourth, and that's okay. So talk about the brothers. Uh, <laughs> 
right here to my left, the uh, Hardigan boys. Uh, both of them a great, uh, great day today. Man, yes, they are. They both had a fantastic day. I, I, I enjoy bowling with them. They are great sports. They are a fantastic addition to the team. They're both leaders on the team. They keep us moving. Yeah. So, uh, you know, how do you think going into next year? Obviously, you lose Tim. And I, lose I know Tim. he's going to be a, a tough asset to replace, but I'm sure the future's still bright. You know, the girls' side, I don't believe you had maybe no seniors no at all. No seniors on the girls. I'm not losing any of them. Um, I am losing three of the boys uh, Tim, Kelvin, and Tavoris. Um, but I've got some young guys coming up, and um, I think they're going to be able to step in and eventually fill their shoes, mm -hmm. and we're going to be okay. Right. So let's go over to the Hardigan brothers right here. We've got uh, Lucas here on the left, and Tim on the right. Uh, Tim, your dad brought the championship trophy to you after it was presented. How did that feel, being a great. senior and all? It felt great. Great way to end my career. And I mean, it's kind of how it's always been. He's always taken care of me, taught me how to, he's the one who got me started in bowling, and it's just been great. How does it feel to have not lost a state title in your career? Uh, to be honest, it's probably one of the greatest things ever. I mean, I, I, all of them have been tough. All of them had their different stretches. I won one with Lucas last year, and I won one with my older brother my first year. And I've won with a lot of great guys. I've had awesome teammates. Couldn't ask for better teammates, better coaches. It's just been great. It's just been a great thing. Tim's the only member of the team that's ever won five state championships. The only member. Okay, the only member so he's that's the made first. it all five. Awesome. Well, uh, let's uh, talk about how good your brother bowled today, with Tim. My, my little brother Lucas. He bowled unbelievable. That was probably the greatest thing I've ever seen him bowl. He he bowled great. It was awesome just to watch him and get, watch him get fired up and fired the team up. I think he averaged 230 today, and everybody kept saying that's unbelievable for an eighth grader. But I wanted to tell him that's unbelievable for anybody. Yes. <laughs> he held his own to say the least. He took care of business. That lefty stroke that he has is it's, it's so sweet. Unbelievable. It's, it's just sweet. natural. So Lucas, let's ask you how does it feel to watch your big brother talk about his performance today? My big brother, he's great. He's he's always been a leader in my life and especially on the lanes. I mean he bowled great. Two fifty average is ridiculous in any tournament for any bowler. Mm -hmm. I mean he almost had three hundred twice. I mean he's a great bowler. Right, and uh, you started the day with the 289. Just, yeah. Do you think that set the tone for the way everything was going to go today? I, I definitely wanted 300. I don't think there's been one shot in Mississippi High School Athletics. And Not I thought if I shot one on the biggest stage of them all, it would have been awesome. But 289 got us going. I think that took, we took the lead with like 1,000 the first game. And that's really all I wanted, 1,000 a game. And that's pretty much what we did. We handled business. Today. Right, and uh, I think you ended up losing one of the qualifiers to Olive Branch. But past that, I mean, it was a solid sweep. Yes, yes, indeed. So, Olive Branch is a good team, though. Uh, you know, for one of you guys, Lucas, how will it feel to you know, just kind of go on without your brother next year? How do you think you all guys will do? Uh, I think we'll do all right. I mean, I think we got some good depth. Good depth in the team, always have. You got a great so, coach, yeah. too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Well, guys, congratulations on your state championship, and uh, y'all be safe at Batch Tupelo. Thank, Thank you. you.